Did you know that there are certain political, sorry, certain methods political parties cannot use to promote their, promote their candidate or their party, and that you do have certain rights to protect you from being targeted in certain ways? We're going to talk about this now with the Data Protection Commissioner with the Ministry of Finance, Mr. George Rogers. Welcome to the show, Mr. Rogers. Thank you very much. Now, first of all, explain to us what exactly is a Data Protection Commissioner and why do we need to have one? Well, the Commission is uh, the arm of the, the Act itself that was passed okay. back in 2003. Okay. Um, but it came into force in April uh, 2006. And uh, his purpose is to ensure that the privacy rights of our citizens are protected. Okay. Protected against um, um, misuse, abuse, um, and or to ensure that um, whatever happens, mm -hmm. happens in a decent manner. Okay, so you are basically a protector. Yes. An enforcer of, of right, sorts. Right, of privacy. Now, why is data and protection important during election time? Well, as you know, some people describe it as a silly season. Mm -hmm. And so we want to ensure that um, the citizens' rights are not protected. We want to ensure that they're not harassed in any way. Okay. And we want to ensure that um, um, people are identified um, when contacting the citizens so that the citizens know up front um, who they're talking with. So, and I guess they can make decisions as to whether or not they do want to exactly. um, continue the exactly. conversation. Yes. Now the phrase direct marketing comes up often when we talk about this. Yes. What is it and why is direct marketing a problem per se? It's one of the um, um, clauses in the, in the Act, uh, under Section 2 of the Act, which um, says that if someone is talking to me about something, whether it's um, an ide ideology or whether it's um, politics, um, I must know who I'm talking to. Okay. And, um, and so I have a right to refuse to talk to you. Um, I have a right to um, let my information um, be protected in certain ways. Mm -hmm. I have a right to ensure that if um, you have some information about me that's not correct, okay. I have a right to have that deleted um, and, and, and so on. Okay, so yes. now we're talking about um, the election time, election process. Yes. And I'm assuming that you have guidelines. What is it that political parties can do, I suppose, in terms of approaching people? Well, um, the elections are normally governed by the People's um, um, Elections Act, um, Parliamentary Elections Act. Okay. And um, that act gives them broad um, access to information. Um, what the Data Protection Act is trying to do is to ensure that um, you, uh, first of all, um, identify yourself if you're talking about um, um, some party yes. um, and you want to ensure that um, your information is um, used properly. Mm -hmm. You want to ensure that um, whatever you do or say doesn't offend the individual. And if the individual says, look, I'm not interested, then you have to leave them alone. Okay. Okay, I understand that. Yes. Now, would sticking a bunch of flyers on your door or mm -hmm. window be considered direct marketing? It is, and, um, um, and it's available to candidates okay. um, under the um, Parliamentary Registration Act. However, if um, the candidate is advised that, look, I don't want that information um, around, then you have a, a right to um, demand that they um, move it. Okay. Um, and so it's really um, a step to ensure that the individual is not um, overly um, contacted. It's okay. not overly pressured into voting a particular way um, mm -hmm. and or talking to someone they may not be interested in. Okay, um, yes. as I'm talking to you and listening to your answer, I'm thinking about a car that I've seen mm -hmm. in various places uh, across New Providence and I was wondering whether that fit. Mm -hmm. It seems to, um, as far as be, where it's being parked and all that sort of stuff. Yes. Now what about political profiling and market research? Is that allowed? Um, in certain circumstances it can be. Um, if um, however, it's done. It should be done with the consent of the individual. Yes. Um, and so you have a right to uh, refuse that. Mm -hmm. um, we don't encourage it um, because it takes into um, um, consideration things that some people may not wish to have um, um, done. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we discourage it particularly. And um, the act allows the, the candidate mm -hmm. to contact various um, um, people through fax, post office box, mm -hmm. emails, uh, all those sort of things, right? Okay. However, um, you must identify yourself. You must okay. say, well, look, I am from party A, B, C, or D, and, um, and the ideas I'm representing represent my party. Mm -hmm. And you must also say, well, look, um, um, 
Are you interested? Okay, and before you proceed, before you go proceed. any further. Yes. Now, many media houses are planning to do, um, I guess, the very same thing. They're going to be phoning around to get people's views. Yes. Is this a problem, and does it matter if it's only coming from a political party? No. Um, um, all the act is really intending to do is to ensure that the citizen is treated fairly okay. um, and lawfully. Okay. So those are two keys. In fact, that's one of the principles of data protection, where you have to ensure that um, the, whoever you're dealing with, um, as an individual, as a citizen, must mm -hmm. be treated fairly. You must also ensure that uh, the information you get is not used or abused. Mm -hmm. You must ensure that if, for example, um, you store that information, um, it must be secured mm -hmm. in certain ways so that people who don't need access to it um, have wouldn't it. have that. Okay. Um, and then you must not keep that information for longer than necessary. Okay. Um, in other words, when you've done with that information, you should um, destroy it. Properly. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. What is it that our citizens need to keep in mind above and beyond that um, as we move forward into the election season? Yeah. Well, we want to ensure that there are four basic um, points that they need to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, choice. Okay. You have a choice. Um, um, even, even by putting things on, on the air, Facebook or one of those, mm -hmm. you, you have a choice what you put there. And you must be careful if you put something there, um, you may not be able to take it back. Tracker, yeah. And then you also um, 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 want to ensure that um, you are open enough so that businesses can do business with you. Um, okay. So that's the irony of the act. Mm -hmm. um, you, you want to be um, protected, mm -hmm. but you have to be open enough to allow certain things to happen. Okay. And then the data that you're talking about must be of a certain quality. Okay. It, it should be correct. Mm -hmm. And and th unfortunately, you must also ensure that that information is secured okay. um, and protected. Thank you very much, George yes. Rogers, Data Protection Commi Commissioner with the Ministry of Finance. You've given us a lot of, to think about today. Yes. Um, thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. You're watching Bombers at Sunrise. We'll be back right after these messages.